see interesting. Yes. Okay, I'm going to start with the attributes. The breath of life. Range is 12 inches. It's focused. It's an augment. It's instant. Target recovers one wound. No single model can recover more than one wound per phase uh, from the spell. So that's okay. nice. Yeah. Especially later in the game. I mean, the beginning of the you know, you're not going to get nothing out of it the first turn or two, but... I'd like it if you could actually raise wounds with it. Yes. Then I think it'd be a really good... Then it would be then it would be a really good one. Yeah, you could... Actually, it might be too good if you did that. Could be. Because you don't want a lore attribute that's raising a 30-point knight. Sure, sure. Could be well, a you, little... Well, you'd make it more complicated. I mean, like the other spell where, you know, you can only do so much with one raising, but... Yeah. Yeah, but it's uh, it's synergized really well with, uh, with Monster Mash lists. Or multi wound lists. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I used to run it with the Bretonians to get my characters' wounds back. Right, right. You and know. That, and that is helpful for if you if you got fighting characters and keep your mage alive and that type of thing. But with the twelve inch you gotta be close by. It's, which again it's makes short. it a little tough. It's very short and I said it's Okay. Well the default is zero. I mean the zero spell, the default is healing waters. Cast one a four or an eight. It does the caster's unit. Or the the boosted version is a range twelve. Lasts a turn. Target gains regeneration five. And this also has the other bonus. This is the spell lore that has the oaken throne, which was the old um, throne of vines. Throne of vines, yeah. Basically, that five up region goes to a four up region if you already have the other spell in place. Right. Now, this is going to be kind of a tough lore to talk about with that one. Um, mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, four up to get a five up regen on your unit. It's really good. That's a one die spell. Easy. Yep. Um, I actually like this a lot. It uh, casts on an eight, a unit within 12. It's a five up regen. I think this is fantastic for a zero level spell. Oh, I think, I think this is a great spell. I mean, uh. Not helpful if you already have regen, but the uh, yes, it doesn't do the plus one to some things. But to be able to give you know most any any unit of regen a five up ward is, is is fantastic. Yeah, a free five. I mean, and it's free. Well, it's a zero level spell. So yeah, it's not quite free. You're guaranteed you can get it. So I mean, yeah. it's definitely a synergy spell. It's that if you want to play, um, if you got a big things that don't have any regen on them to protect them from right. cannons and you know etc. Mm -hmm. or, or other magic. The, or just helping boosting a unit in combat. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, next one, Master of the Earth, uh, first spell. Uh, casting value is 6, boosted value is an 11, range is 18, it's a hex, direct damage. It's instant. Uh, the range of the spell can be measured from the caster or from any impassable terrain or hill on the table. The target suffers d6, 2d6 in its booster form, strength 4 hits, and then it's strength 5 if you have the Oaken Throne in, in play. Um, it's uh, it's a uh, okay uh, magic missile as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Eighteen isn't particularly a great uh, isn't a great cast uh, <clears throat> range. Range, but any um, you know impassable uh, terrain or hill uh, makes it uh, so it's more than likely you're going to be relatively close to something there. So. It's got an, an interesting cast value, so it's, it's, it's an okay magic missile. Well, this is a direct spell, mm -hmm. so that means it has to be in your forward arc, correct? Correct. Okay. And it's not technically a magic missile either, so... <laughs> the, right, so you don't yeah. have to see it, but it has to be in your forward arc. Right. Okay. Okay, so that's a little bit of a limit to it, but... Mm -hmm. um, no, this is good. The The thing that boosts it, despite the 18-inch range, is the... can be measured from any impassable right. terrain, which makes this really, you know, much more useful. Oh, absolutely. Because, yeah, and casting value of six, really? That's really low. It's good for a, a basic magic missile. Uh, the 2d6 one at 11 is a, it's a little high. Yeah. Um, of course, if the Oaken Throne's going, then it makes it more, more worthwhile. Yeah. Which right. leads which us to the Oaken Throne. Which leads us to the Oaken, Oaken Throne. Um, which casts on a 7-up. It's the caster only. Remains in play. If the caster miscasts a spell miscasts a spell other than the Oaken Throne, it counts as having rolled one power dice less than it actually did. Um, the 
the caster has open throne and play with certain other spells it, they get the boosted and that's the ones we were talking about before right, right. so this is basically a spell that boosts your other spells that's pretty much all it does and, uh, and gives you a slight minor protect, very slight protection to your mm. miscast roll right um, which is not as critical because these seem to be lower casting values so far the problem I own, the problem I've always had with the Oaken Throne is the the old Throne of Vines is people have always had the chance to. It basically means you have to cast one extra spell, mm -hmm. so they either let this go and concentrate on stopping your spells, or they can stop this and you know let the others make you get the other spells off with less dice. That's my only downside to this. I don't like, I don't like this spell because it. It doesn't stand alone. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've always hated the spell. Because <laughs> um, it's the same thing. Is you're dedicating dice for the chance of doing something on other dice. And you have so few casting dice to work with most of the time. Correct. That, you know, to throw them at this. And then the chance of you actually getting the spell you really want is pretty slim because your opponent still has all of his dice. Correct. And if he's really worried about it, he can always, it's a seven to dispel it. He can do it in his own magic phase if, if necessary. Yeah, throw two dice out in his own phase yeah. and knock it out. Sure, I mean, it's, he's taken away from his own casting, but you have more dice in your own casting phase anyway. So, yeah, I, I've just never really liked this, uh, this, this spell for that reason. And now they've, you know, yeah, it boosts the spell and makes, a, a, you know, like four of the spells more powerful and, I would have rather them incorporated the boosted version into the spells themselves and did something new here as a right. standalone, uh, frankly. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. All right, the next spell is Spirit of the Woods, number three. Uh, casting value is nine, boosted value is 13. Getting up there, range is 12. It's an augment it's a or a hex if it's at 13. Um, last one turn. Range for the spell can be measured from the caster or from any forest on the table. All models in the target unit are considered to be within a forest. Um, <laughs> this is a very, very good spell. The range is very short, which is the only challenge with it. So Correct, but again, you've got the bonus from any forest feature. Sure. So, um, but this is really nice if you're playing, uh, you know, you've got skirmish guys, you want to make basically get stubborn in the woods in the middle of a field trying to hold somebody up. To boost your own guys, exactly. yes. Exactly. Or if you want to throw it on your opponent, and all of a sudden he doesn't get steadfast, doesn't get his rank bonus, right? You know, so the the, the uh, hex could be very powerful, right? I mean, this is one of the spells. If your opponent has it and you're in close combat, you just cannot let this thing go off. Yeah, so, yeah. definitely. No, I like this spell a lot. It is short range. That's the only thing. It's short range, but the <laughs> one of the guys, our one of our friends, uses this. With his uh, kingdom of Equitain, mm -hmm. yeah, and his goal is to his goal is to go hit you, get you in combat, and then get the spell off. Right, and it's deadly. I mean, you have to let you pretty much have to let whatever else he's got go through, because you can't have this happen to you. Exactly. So, it's a good spell. It's yeah. a very good spell. Um, next one is the fourth spell, Summer Growth. It casts on a ten, boost to a fifteen. Range is 24, boosted version is 48, it's instant, instant. raises d3 plus 1 wounds. Uh, if the, throne, the open throne's in place, it's d6 plus 1. Um, and the target unit. Unit heals. Um, unit of height, medium and large, have the number of raised wounds. Okay, so cav and monsters, monsters, and monsters, and monsters get else. half the wounds, which is... You know, but it's rounded up, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, round fractions. Correct. Up, says it right there. <laughs> um, this is a really good spell if you have certain armies. Not that great with some armies where you got all, the, you know, your, but most of your stuff is cheap. Like the orcs and goblins. It's, yeah, it's a mess spell. Mm -hmm. It's okay, but it's not that great. But, like I said, again, I'm playing against a cavalry army and they're bringing back 30-point knights. It's really good with uh, elite infantry because it's a one for one. Yeah, D6 so, plus one yeah. elite infantry come yeah. back. If the, Well, sorry, if the other thing's mm -hmm. in, in play. With knights, it's only one or two. And it's good um, on you know, on your characters um, if they're not mounted. I mean, it's good if they're mounted too. Yeah. <laughs> the... Yeah. 
Um, it goes on the unit though. Sure, but if he's on by himself, he's a unit. If he's by himself, yeah. he's a unit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But he has to be off by himself. Right, right. But if you're flying around with you know a guy on a monster, a monstrous mount of some sort, right. you know, you're gonna it's gonna help out. I'm trying to. And, th and then this with the breath of life lore attribute, you right. can you can keep those types of guys or monsters going. Pretty Especially well. if they're nearby, because yeah. this one's, you know, it's a ten to cast at it. It's a ten to cast at a range twenty four. Forty eight is a fifteen. Yeah. I mean, that's a desperate thing if you're throwing five dice at. And you're still probably not. You may not get it. Yeah, right. Fifteen's crazy, but but tens, you know, you, you can get it off. Yep. Okay. Uh, next spell, spell number five, Stone Skin, uh, 11 plus to cast, range 24, it's an augment, lasts one turn, target gains plus two toughness, plus four with, with Oaken Throne. Um, another very nice defensive spell. The, yes. Uh, uh, anytime you can get your toughness up to make you much harder to wound, is it's a good thing, and it's a plus two, which is a, which is a nice Not kick. a plus one, it's plus two, so exactly. I mean, most people are going to, if you're equal forces, they're going to be needing sixes to hit you. Exactly. I mean, wound you, sorry. Wound you, yeah. And even if you're not, I mean, if you're a toughness four guy, it's pretty much most things you're going to need sixes to wound you unless right. they have, you know, great weapons or something magic. So, yeah. You can. No boosted version at all on this spell, though. It's kind of odd. Yeah. Well, the boost, I guess, is with the. With, with the, the throne. Open throne, which is plus four, which is insane. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yes. That's kind of a waste, actually. Yeah, it is. <laughs> the, uh, unless, of course, you're fighting guys with great weapons and then it's. Sure quite handy but anyway a castle on 11 so it's not too terrible to get it off yeah it's a little, I mean, it's, you a can, little it's a little tough but um three dice is kind of iffy you, you have to throw four dice at this really if you're trying to get it off with a decent chance right which is a little risky all right um that brings dwellers in the earth cast on a 15 boost to an 18 uh range is 12 or 20 boost to 24 X direct damage instant. Each model in the target units must must pass a strength test in an order chosen by the owner of that unit. Ignore the first failed test. Each model that fails its fails its test suffers one wound with no saves of any kind allowed. With multiple wounds ten. Okay. Oh, so it kills you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> multiple wounds ten. That they don't like that kills the model. No. Like they don't like that at all, do they? Well, everything's now multi wounds. <clears throat> multi wounds ten. Okay. Or, um, or AP six or yeah. Then. Yeah, this is the old dwellers below. Yep. Um, except now it's not as devastating because the guy that gets hit by it chooses the order and ignores the first right failed test. So that way, if I you think roll some the, of the uber spells, do that now. Yeah. Yes, that means if you roll accidentally roll the six on your general, correct, you can ignore that. One. But if you're gonna do a Death Star and pile a whole bunch of characters in, you know, then right. the other ones could, most of your guys could be at risk. Right. No saves of any kind make this really right. powerful. And the multiple wounds 10 even makes it uh, monster killer potent against a monster, you know. Yeah, Yeah, but most monsters are going to be strength 5 mm -hmm. or better. Sure. I mean, it's going to be a 6. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. but and you, yeah, it's tough to throw a 15. <laughs> it's a 15 or an 18. Oof. That, that's the thing is, is... A 15 is already hard to roll. It's <laughs> only 12 inches. Right. The 18 is, yeah, that's that's kind of lucky. <laughs> the uh, and uh, well, if you're five dicing and you got what probably better than 50 percent, but uh, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. <laughs> you know, you probably got a 40 percent chance to fail. Right. And a decent chance to uh, miss gas. So. <laughs> yeah. Um. Of course, but if you miscast, you you probably get it off because you get the, the additional dice for the uh, boost. But yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a, I mean, it's definitely a Death Star killer. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a it's a it's for attacking uh, big things, no question. Just the range is is relatively short, so you have, yeah. you have to be kind of close to these things to twelve inches to, to affect them, and you really need to put the dice <clears> in it. And so, it's a scary spell. No one wants it cast on there. On, the, on their bigger units, no, no question about that. But I mean, yeah, unit of orcs, for example, you're going to take, you're going to lose a third of them, right? Yeah, it's a strength test. So well, regular orcs are three up, right? 
Well, talking, yeah. you, you don't see regular no, yeah, orcs. No, 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 no one plays with them. No, yeah. no one's not regular orcs <laughs> Some anymore. archers, maybe. So. Yes. <laughs> so. um, and no one's going to bother casting a 15 power level spell at them, a unit of archers. Yeah, that'd be absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, no question. I mean, high strength guys are not going to be as uh, concerned about it as, as we But no, guys. but I'm just saying, even a third. You know, you've got a 400 point unit. You're just chunking off 140 oh, points, 130 points of models in one spell. Sure, but it's if you've got things like, uh, you know, for your strength three, now it's 50 percent. 50 percent, and it's even more devastating. Then, it, then that's that's right. you know, extremely devastating. Yeah. So I okay. mean, frankly, that most elves, it's very. This is a elf killer. Elf killer with the strength test. Elves against the strength, and they tend to be strength three with a few fours yeah. mixed in. Either strength or toughness, either yeah. one with elves is dangerous. Right. right. <clears throat> All right. So overall, I'm kind of mixed on this one. I don't like the Oaken Throne simply because of what it does to your uh, magic phase if you cast it. Um, other than that, the short range on some of these is kind of problematic. I think it's a decent lore. I don't know that I would use it. So does that make it a decent lore or not? I guess that has to go to a negative, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I, I find it a situational lore. I mean, I think if you're playing a, a monster mash list um, or you have a lot of multi-wound multi guys, it's good because you're going to use the, the, the base. Um, I think your the Oaken Throne causes a number of challenges. Um, a lot of the spells are very nice by themselves. But you need to have the right combination to get them off because you want to be able to threaten your opponent. So he has to think. Right. Correct. So I mean, to our earlier point, we really, I think we both really like the uh, the spirit of the woods. But you have to have something else. You need to be able to get the, you know, the plus two toughness spell or or, or the dwellers or something that's gonna that they don't want to go off to have a chance to get these things off. To get the spirit of the woods off. Because right. A lot of them, they're they're helpful and definitely the more defensive. So. And that, the Oaken Throne, it really only helps three, uh, four spells. Four spells. Four spells, okay. Anyway, um, so I guess I got to go thumbs down. Yeah, I'm, uh, Statler gives a thumbs down. On yeah, stuff. Waldorf definitely goes a thumbs, yeah. Um, Except yeah. for certain, you know, builds. I think it's a, for a synergy build, you're fine. But as a generic lore, I just think there are better choices. Yeah, I agree. Um, so thumbs down both, right? Yep. Wow. Okay. That's the lore of nature. <laughs>